My name is Al Philip Neri, and I am the performance coach. A little bit about me. I was born and raised in London. We moved to the States when I was 13 years old for my parents to buy a business and try the world of entrepreneurship. Unfortunately, that didn't work out too well for them. So moving from an upper middle class lifestyle in London to basically struggling in the States with my parents being business owners was life altering, life changing. And there was a lot of lessons in that experience. And what I did watch was how my parents never complained. They were never victims. They just did what they had to do in order for us to survive because they did not want to go back to London. They wanted to live the American dream. So fast forward, went to the University of Colorado, worked for the government for 11 years, used to run a juvenile correctional facility for the state of Colorado. Took a leap of faith, a leap of faith in 2004 to be self-employed. And I opened my own boxing martial arts gym and I started a very successful career that I've had in real estate. And that's from being an investor where I've invested in 20 cities to being a top producing agent and running a top producing team. I also was fortunate enough to speak for all the major TV shows in regards to real estate and real estate investing. And I did that for six years. But you know what? That's not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I'm here to talk to you about is the training of a champion, the undefeated champion. And what does that look like? That's what I'm passionate about. And that's what I want to teach you here today. So first and foremost, let's define what a champion is. Let's define what undefeated is. One of the people that comes to mind for me is Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice, hands down, is one of the greatest players to play in the National Football League ever. And is it because he was so talented or is it because of his drive and his work ethic? What a lot of people don't realize is his work ethic was unbeknownst. He showed up two hours early to get ready for practice. He stayed two hours late to rerun his routes, to watch film, to stretch. He did everything he had to do to be of the highest value to his team that he could be at all levels of his career. And he played way beyond his age because of how well he took care of his body and his mind. And so when I think of champion, that's somebody who comes to mind. And there's a lot of great athletes that fall into that same capacity, but that's somebody who really, really comes to mind. So now with every great high performing championship individual, we know there's inherent traits. Their focus is laser sharp. Their passion is deep. They love what they do. Like there's nothing else they want to do other than get better at what they're doing. They share that with everybody. And more importantly, they hold themselves to a higher standard. And they feel like it's their obligation to perform at a higher standard. That's what champions do. So 2020 was a crazy year. I don't know your personal story, your personal journey of what 2020 was like. For me, was it different? Yes, it was different. But guess what? I still succeeded. My team still succeeded. The people around me still succeeded. We thrived in what was supposed to be an extremely difficult year. Now, some of you may have thrived as well, and you might have had the greatest success that you've ever had last year. And this year, we're going to build forward. Some of you may have had the toughest year you've ever had in your life. Well, for those of you, we're going to build and move forward. So the whole premise of training like a champion is about moving forward and getting better. So in life, high performing individuals, champions, they take control. And I have the words take control into three buckets. They take control of their life. 
They take control of their families' lives and they take control of themselves as individuals. So three buckets. Now, each one of those buckets has three principles. And all nine of these principles, three buckets, three principles, all nine of these principles can fire synergistically. And with any high-performing individual, the ultimate goal, it is success, but it's also balance. Having balanced success. So that's where these nine principles working synergistically together come into play. So in bucket number one, take control of your life. I have money, time, and health. Now, a mentor of mine told me, I'll never forget this. He said, money makes a good man great and money makes a bad man evil. And so he asked me the question, Al, is it the money or is it the person? And I was like, well, it's the person. And he said, don't ever forget that. It's the person. Now, I think we can all agree that money is important. Now, why is money important? Is it so that you can have the finer luxuries of life, whether that's cars, houses, watches, boats, whatever, whatever your thing is. Is that why money is important? To me, those are perks. Those are perks of having money, is to be able to do those things. But the real reason money is important is because it creates opportunities. It creates opportunities for you as an individual. It creates opportunities for your family. It creates opportunities for people who work for you. It creates opportunities for people that you want to help. That's why money is so important. Now, the crazy thing about money is it's not equal. And we know that, right? It's not equal. So the whole goal of becoming a champion is to get you to that monetary level that you want to be at, but to really know why that level is important to you. The next thing that you got to take control of is your time. Now, time is one of the most precious assets you have. And the reason why time is one of the most precious assets you have is because once it's past, it's past. You cannot go back in time. You cannot redo. All you can do is learn and move forward. And so many people get hung up on the past. And that is not how champions operate. That is not how they operate. The crazy thing about time is it is equal. Time is equal. I don't care who you are, how old you are, what color you are, what gender you are, what religion you are. Guess what? We all have the same amount of time. So the question is, what are you going to do to make the best use of your time? The next is health. You know, health has always been important. Health should be something that you take control of. Exercise, diet, sleep, recovery. It's all important. And 2020 with COVID, some people just stopped exercising. And they stopped exercising because gyms were closed. But that doesn't add up to me. You got to take care of your health no matter what, but especially when things aren't going right health wise, right? Your health is important. There's no reason to go out and make a ton of money and then you have the worst health. How will you provide opportunities if you're not healthy? That doesn't add up, right? So, bucket one, the taking control of your life. If you really take control of money, you really understand the importance, you really understand the opportunity, guess what? You can actually control your time better and you can also control your health better. Now, bucket number two is taking control of your family. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is taking care of your family, leading from the front, 
rising up to the challenge, right? It does you no good as an entrepreneur to just chase the money and all your time is focused on making money and then your family is left behind. That's not okay to miss out on things that are important to your family. So there's three things I put into this bucket. Having fun. It is okay during your journey of success. It is okay. I used to fight in the ring. It was okay during camp for me to go out and socialize and have fun. That's healthy. I didn't have to be 100% submersed all the time about training and nutrition. It's okay to have fun. And you owe it to your family to have fun because that's where memories are created. The next principle is protection. Now, this is not a right to bear arms. This is financial protection. This is doing things so your family will always be taken care of. So your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids, they are taken care of. There are things you can learn and do. One of the biggest things that drives me crazy and I hope it drives you crazy, is we have someone in our community who passes. And when you get that call or you see that post on Facebook, there's a GoFundMe. That, my friends, we don't need that. If you would just understand how to protect your family. It, it, it's, it's mind boggling to me. And the last one is giving back. I'm a person of helping others. I've taught that to my kids. I teach that to the athletes I coach. And we build that into the regiment. And it's not just about writing a check. It's sometimes your time is more valuable in giving back. Because it's, it's empowering. And, you know, if you're able to provide a great lifestyle for your family and your children, it's good for them to see other people that are less fortunate. It brings that sense of being humble and understanding that not everybody maybe had the same opportunity or took advantage of the same opportunity. Now, bucket number three is taking care of yourself. What do I mean by that? You have to learn how to constantly stay enhanced. Now, there's lots of tips and techniques to stay enhanced, but you have to stay on fire. You have to stay fueled, right? Very few people in the world can always be fueled at a high intensity level. Everybody needs that nudge, needs that coach, needs, needs that inspiration, right? So learning how to make that part of your life daily is important. The next thing is, who are you going to surround yourselves by? Who is your support, and support comes in many different ways. And I tell people all the time that the person who supports you doesn't always have to agree with you, but they want to see what's best for you. And they want you to succeed. And we're all victim of the naysayers and that negative person. Learning the skills to deal with that appropriately because you can't always just remove them from your life. That's not always feasible, but you gotta learn how to deal with it appropriately so it doesn't consume your life. And the last one is why, why what? Why are you here? Why do you wanna be an entrepreneur? Why do you wanna be a millionaire, a billionaire? Why, 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 why what? For me, it's you gotta figure out why you wanna be free. Why do you want to be free? And when you can understand the importance of why you want to be free, and then you take these three buckets, nine principles, and you start working through those, everything starts aligning for you. And think of the Jerry Rice's, Manny Pacquiao's of the world, getting ready for competitions, big fights. Do you think things are very dialed in and regimented and they make sense? There's purpose. Of course there is. Of course there is. Your life in regards to becoming that champion, that undefeated entrepreneur, is no different. 
So now, what is it that you have to do to create that change? Well, there's five steps that you can do in each principle, you can implement in each principle. The first one is you have to do a thorough analysis of where you're at in each principle. And you have to be honest with yourself. You can't lie to yourself. This is not let me make myself feel good and I think I'm here. No, you got to be honest with yourself so that you can grow in this analysis phase. From that, you got to create the strategy. And the strategy is, okay, what am I going to do different? Then you got to embrace that strategy. You have to be 100% in. 100% in. So again, think of training like a champion. Do champions have one foot in and one foot out while they're training? No, they're focused. They're in there. They're in the moment. Everything they got, it's no different in the world of entrepreneurship. No different. Then when your mind is intent that this is going to be the change, you then have to do the do. You have to adjust the behavior. You have to go out and do it. You have to do it when nobody else is watching. You have to adjust. And it won't always be easy. There will be obstacles. There will be setbacks. You just have to continue to do. And when you continue to do, the behavior will change. Once the behavior changes, the last step is opportunities will prevail. Opportunities will be awarded to you. But you have to be wise enough to capture those to take advantage of those. Because my friends, when you grow, your network grows, your opportunities grow. Again, go back to being a great athlete. It's one thing to make the league. It's another thing to play in the league. It's another thing to start in the league and it's another thing to make it to the pro bowl. And then it's the final step is you made it to the hall of fame. Right? It's being able to seize those opportunities along your journey that makes you ultimately that undefeated entrepreneur. And you're training like a champion. So what I want to conclude with is in my workshop, what we are going to do is we're going to take those three buckets, one, two, three, the three principles in each bucket. So we got nine principles and we are going to work through steps one, two, and three, the analysis, creating the strategy, and then wrapping your mind around that. That is what we're going to spend the workshop doing because it's important for me that you leave with a tangible, very tangible action plan that you can implement immediately. Not something that you need to think about. No, because you're going to leave this conference fired up. There's a lot of great presenters here with great stories and great content and great inspiration. You will leave so fired up. But you know what? It's on you to do something with that fire and do something with that knowledge. So I want to do my part in training you like a champion in creating you to be that undefeated entrepreneur and leave you with tangible action items that you can implement. So I highly encourage you, let's get together in the workshop and we will dig in way deeper into all of these topics. So once again, Al Philip Neri, the performance coach, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Thank you for your time.